Hi everyone, welcome to Stellar Fame, the best channel for your celebrity gist. We will gist you on two iconic Hollywood celebrities, Jane Fonda and Jennifer Lopez. Recently, Jane Fonda came forward to expose Jennifer Lopez's alleged slap snub. American actress and activist Jane Fonda was involved in several disputes during her career. She gained notoriety for opposing the Vietnam War in the 1970s and faced criticism for some of her trips to North Vietnam and remarks concerning American POWs. After all, she expressed regret for her conduct and started supporting feminism and environmental concerns, among other social and political reasons. As an outspoken opponent of the war who visited North Vietnam in 1972, Fonda became embroiled in one of the most notorious scandals of the Vietnam War. She was spotted sitting atop an anti-aircraft gun while on the trip which prompted claims that she was a traitor and was working with the enemy. Many Americans, especially soldiers, and their families were outspoken in their condemnation and protests of Fonda's activities during the war. She received criticism for several remarks she made about US POWs, which were viewed as insulting and inappropriate. Fonda has publicly apologized and expressed regret for any hurt she may have caused in the years since for her behavior during the conflict. She has also developed into a supporter of numerous social and political causes, such as environmental protection, women's rights, and anti-poverty programs. When Fonda produced and appeared in the 1980s movie The China Syndrome, which portrayed a fictitious nuclear power plant disaster, she became embroiled in yet another scandal. Because the movie came out around the same time as the Mile 3 Island nuclear disaster in Pennsylvania, some people accused Fonda and her co-stars of inciting panic and exaggerating the dangers of nuclear energy. Despite these difficulties, Fonda has maintained a lucrative and significant career in the entertainment business. She has received numerous honors for her performances, including two Academy Awards, and has established a solid reputation in social activism and politics. The American singer and actress Jennifer Lopez has also generated controversy in the news. She received criticism for her performance in the movie Selena in the late 1990s, with some critics charging that she did not authentically depict the late singer's life and legacy. She has been charged with cultural appropriation in recent years for using specific dance moves and outfits in her music videos and live performances. In the 2011 romantic comedy Monster-in-Law, Jane Fonda and Jennifer Lopez co-starred as Charlotte, Charlie, Cantinelli, and Viola Fields, respectively. Fonda played Viola Fields, a wealthy and domineering mother who disapproves of her son's relationship with Cantinelli. In the movie, Fonda's character goes to great efforts to try to separate Charlie and her kid, even going so far as to hire a private detective to look into her. She discovers that Charlie is the ideal match for her son after her intentions go awry. Ultimately, Monster-in-Law delivered a fun story about the intricacies of family relationships while also showcasing the humorous skills of both Fonda and Lopez. Robert Lukatic and Anya Kochoff's film Monster-in-Law is about promising fashion designer Charlie Lopez, who must deal with her mother-in-law, played by Fonda, who will stop at nothing to destroy her relationship with her son. Fonda made her cinematic comeback with the movie, ending a 15-year break since Stanley and Iris' 1990 release. Together with Michael Varton, Wanda Sykes, Adam Scott, Monet Mazur, Annie Paris, Will Arnett, Elaine Stritch, and Stephen Durham, these actors also appeared in the comedy. Monster-in-Law reportedly cost $43 million to make, but ended up making more than $155 million worldwide, according to IMDb. When Fonda visited the daytime talk program to promote her most recent movie, Moving On, in which she co-starred with Lily Tomlin, she also talked about shooting Barbarella and what transpired behind the scenes at the moment when she is doing a striptease in space. I hate being naked in front of everybody. I got drunk, she said. 
My husband, director Roger Vadim, had promised me that my various private parts would be covered by the titles of the movie. He lied. He didn't do that. Fonda continued, Just before the end of this horrible experience, a bat flew between me and the camera. We had to do the whole thing over again the next day. We didn't know this happened until I saw the rushes. I had to do the whole thing over again with a hangover. Fonda and Lopez have both been celebrated for their achievements in the entertainment industry. Fonda has won two Academy Awards for her roles in Clute and Coming Home, as well as numerous other awards throughout her career. She has also been a vocal advocate for political and social causes, including women's rights and environmentalism. Lopez, on the other hand, has had a fruitful career both as a singer and an actor, and she has been in several blockbuster movies and songs. Many honors have been bestowed upon her, including a Golden Globe nomination for her performance in Selena. She has also taken part in charitable endeavors, sponsoring numerous charities, and establishing her foundation to aid underprivileged children. While Monster in Law was not necessarily a critical darling, it remains a beloved film for many fans of Fonda and Lopez. It is a testament to their enduring popularity and talent and will likely continue to entertain audiences for years to come. In the movie Monster in Law, Jane Fonda and Jennifer Lopez's characters come to blows, but it appears that one of them scratched the other in real life. Fonda recalled the moment she was accidentally cut by JLo during filming a fight scene, something she claims the Let's Get Loud singer hasn't apologized for. In an interview with Drew Barrymore on her talk show program on Thursday, March 23rd, on the chat show, Fonda and Lily Tomlin, who was Fonda's co-star in Grace and Frankie, reminisced about their respective previous roles. When Barrymore inquired about the 2005 film Monster-in-Law, Fonda replied, The thing that comes to mind right away is we have a slapping sequence. Jane Fonda went down memory lane on the Drew Barrymore show remembering films from her acting career. When an image of the 2005 rom-com Monster-in-Law came up, Fonda recalled the infamous slap scene opposite Jennifer Lopez that left her with an injury. The thing that comes to mind right away is we have a slapping scene. I slap her, she slaps me, Fonda recalled. Well, Jennifer, as per Jennifer, had this enormous diamond ring. And so when she slapped me, one of the times it cut open across my eye, my eyebrow. Jennifer Lopez seemingly took monster-in-law Viola Field's advice to never go and slap somebody and then apologize. According to Jane Fonda, who played Fields, the mother of JLo's fiance in the 2005 romantic comedy, Lopez apparently got some backbone and didn't say sorry after accidentally cutting her face during the film's iconic slap scene. On Thursday, Fonda made an appearance on The Drew Barrymore Show, and while reflecting on her past roles, she recalled how the pop star left her with a cut above her eyebrow after the two went back and forth striking each other, ahead of Lopez and Michael Barton's character's wedding day in the movie. Okay, well, the thing that comes to mind right away is we have a slapping scene. I slap her, she slaps me, and I slap her. Well, Jennifer, as per Jennifer, she had this enormous diamond ring. Fonda told Barrymore. And so when she slapped me one of the times, it cut open across my eye, my eyebrow. She added, you know, she's never apologized. Lopez, however, remembers things a little differently. Back in 2019, she broke down the scene in a video posted to her YouTube channel, saying she was mortified after one of her slaps resulted in a blood blister at the top of Fonda's eye. The scene took on a life of its own, JLo said. I just remember afterward, Jane had a blood blister right at the top of her eye. My nail, like, went up into her eye. I was like, so sorry, Lopez added. She didn't care. She's such a gangster bitch. I just love her. As always, we will continue to bring you the juiciest gossip and exclusive news about your favorite celebrities. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and watch this one as well.